Hi, my name is Jermaine Barnes. I'm originally from Chicago, but I actually moved here 10 years ago from Los Angeles. So about a year ago, I received a lovely email from a curator named Isabella Villanueva, and she's a part of MOAD in downtown Miami. And it said, hey, we do this pavilion. Would like to chat with you about potentially having you queued up as the next designer. To which I immediately leaped up the opportunity because as someone that's been here for 10 years, Miami is home, but also as a purveyor of design disciplines, we understand the importance of large scale pavilions when it comes to our practice. So we met in my office and from there, I was selected as a designer for 2023. And I immediately wanted to tie together different locations where I've lived, primarily South Africa and Miami Dade. So Ukamba, which is a African term, essentially for basket weaving, is my take on the Caribbean breeze blocks that you see throughout all of the Miami Dade, South Florida, uh, Trinidad, Jamaica, Bahamas, paired with the weaving that you find in West and South Africa. So it's sort of an interplay on those different things together, which encompass my experiences practicing across the globe. I think storytelling and architecture is critical. And I think it is because ultimately we're here to explore narratives. And my goal is always to explore the narratives of the marginalized or the underrepresented. And I like to tell people I use architecture as a griot, G-R-I-O-T, which is a West African term that means storyteller. And how do we use design to amplify voices? And so Ukamba is an attempt at amplifying the voices of the arts and craft movement, of those in the Caribbean diaspora, of those in West Africa, and how even though they are distinctly different locations, there's definitely building materials and processes that overlaps across all of them. So the materials in the process for creating and building Ukamba uh, really wanted to center sustainability, constructability, and modularity. So when we were approached with this opportunity, we wanted to say, how can we build this in a way that allows us to do it very quickly, seamlessly, and then be able to be dismantled and then be repurposed later on. So what the entire structure is built from these vertical modules. And those vertical modules are marine plywood, which allows us to embrace the humid and tropical climate of South Florida, as opposed to pushing away from it. Because we made it porous, we allow wind to come through. So it's an inviting location to sit, to rest, to read a book. And then the other framing are these archways made out of perforated steel. So if we think through steel and wood, we're essentially talking about the typical building materials we find across South Florida. So not only is it a nod to diaspora, it's also a nod to the construction methods that we find here as well. So the archways are important because as of late, I've been looking at historical African contributions to classical architecture. And typically when we learn about antiquity and we learn about Western culture, we always skip the contributions of Egypt, of Morocco, of Carthage. We start at Greece. And this is problematic, and it's problematic because the foundations of how we look at arches and columnar orders are actually rooted in the African continent. So these arches are a nod to that history, to that research I've been doing and conducting, because ultimately we want to give a more comprehensive understanding of architectural canon, and we can't do that if we eliminate an entire continent. So one of the great things about the partnership with Miami-Dade is that there are so many campuses across South Florida Considering is one of the largest institutions in the entire country. The second life of this pavilion is also extremely amazing and awesome to me because it doesn't just end here. I was given the choice of selecting another campus to take the installation there, and I chose the MDC North Campus. And the reason I chose this campus is I spent so much time in Northwest Miami-Dade, in Opelocket, in Miami Gardens, I felt as though it was only right to tie back that legacy as well. So we found an amazing open field, which also shows the flexibility of the structure to where here in downtown, it can be on a concrete slab and up north, it can be in a massive field, which then again ties back to this circular logic of material from the earth into the pavilion, back down into the earth. And we'll have a bunch of robust programming to go along with that so that we make sure we give the same attention and the same recognition to the North Campus that we do downtown. My greatest ambition for Ukamba is that all the visitors who come to Miami Dade Plaza, the students, those that are just in the neighborhood, can stop, sit, rest, and be a part of the installation. 
It is for the people. It is designed with them in thought. I hope people bring their own chairs. They sit there, they take photographs. If you're on Instagram, tag me, Jermaine.Barnes. Put it all on there. It is literally for you all. Please utilize it to its full potential.